Yo, what is going on everyone? X Big Chris X here and today Battlefield 1 has been released to those of you who are an early enlister. So that means if you paid an extra 10 bucks for the game, go figure, you get it three days early. But if you were an EA Access member as well, you've already been playing it. You've played it for at least 10 hours. Like I have. So, oh, Battlefield 1 is... is Kind of, you know, I'm saying it. It's kind of officially here. I don't care. I know 21st is the worldwide release, but like I said, if you bought the early enlister edition or the deluxe edition, anything but the re the base game, you pretty much uh, are playing Battlefield right now. And I am so happy, man. I missed I missed Battlefield so much, and especially for them to do this and bring it way back. It is just phenomenal. I am, I, I've been, like I said, I only got to sink in 10 hours, but man, were those some intense 10 hours. Campaign looks beautiful, phenomenal. I like how everything plays. Um, of course, I don't have 100 hours in this. I don't have 200 hours. I don't have days in this yet. But once I do hit days into this game, you know, or even 100 hours, I'm sure I'm gonna find something wrong. But at this precise moment right now, I am just happy and ecstatic that we have Battlefield 1. Uh, I remember when they first showed this game, I was like, yes, this is what people wanted. Granted, and I know some people are going to hate me saying it, this is what people wanted Call of Duty to do again. Because after World at War, we never really got anything as our fix. And with Infinite Warfare coming out, it's not really appealing to those who do play Call of Duty it's not it's not going off extremely well and it's probably gonna be I predict that it might be the worst COD sales in history Battlefield 1 on the other hand I feel like this year is their year they made what people want what people have been craving for granted this game was probably between five six maybe even seven years in production you know, before Xbox One even released, before PS4 even released, um, you know, it's been in, in the works for a long time, so they probably couldn't have known, but boy, did they strike gold when it came to uh, developing this type of, well, this, this era of a game. It is exactly what people want and what they've been pining for, so I am sure that some people are either going to buy this or buy a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I am more than positive that if they're not buying one or the other, they're probably going to be buying both. So, man, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm amped. I'm excited. Um, my, first, my 10 hours into it were great. Um, one thing that did annoy me that I don't think actually happened in this particular game, or it might have, and I've just forgotten, um, because I did cut this down a little bit, um, this, this pop-up that kept happening on Xbox One for EA Access, you know, play trial, you have, you know, an hour left, you have 75 minutes left, whatever the case is, and it actually... On, on just to the right of me beside my computer is my uh, gaming monitor and yeah it totally is up there right now which is kind of funny that was the only thing that I ran into a serious problem of and of course of course it got me some you know false deaths I shouldn't have been killed for certain reasons but oh actually it did it just happened right there I, you, you guys didn't you guys missed it because I kind of quickly backed out but that was one of the things that I kept having an issue with and Aside from that, it was all good. So guys, please let me know down below what you guys think of Battlefield 1 so far. Are you going to be picking up Infinite Warfare or Battlefield 1 or both? Let me know down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you want already.